Hi, my name is Jacques Tribuani from Yosin Community. Here's an introduction to advanced DMX in Yosin Hollyhock. We'll use the DMX introduction tutorial workspace as a starting point. Trash your patch. Open plot one. Here, you can click and dim each fixture directly with your mouse. But look, I have a trouble with my x brick device. All the parameters move at the same time. Let's check advanced tuning for each parameter. Click the plus at the end of a parameter line. Here, there's an option called master. When checked, the parameter will be triggered by the mouse inside the fixture, but also by the master fader and by the grid, as we'll see later. Check all your fixtures parameters and be sure master is set only for the dimmers. My X brick is now OK. Let's start with a simple chaser. Open the browser, modules, light, and drop light chaser to your patch. Double click your patch, click the module, set speed and curve to 1, and number of out to 3. Open plot 1, drop your free fixtures to the patch, and finally connect the free chaser module out to the fixtures dimmers. You can experiment different chaser tunings. Now let's use the grid to trigger the lights. Trash your patch and create two new ones. Trash the audio out, fold up in and out, and change color. Drop your fixtures from the plot. Dim your fixtures to max. Open the grid. Drop your rack in section 1 and expand it. Right click the item and tune fade in and out parameters to 6 seconds. Change section to next mode and play it. The fade is applied. If you have several identical lights using the same fixtures, you can create a group to remove them as a single entity. Open plot 2 and your browser. Drag your fixtures. Now, click the plot background and create a group from this menu. Reorganize and drop your fixtures inside the group. The parameters are now controlled from a single fader. Create a new rack. Drop your group into the patch. Inside the patch, the group is a simple module to rule all my lights. Create a fader from pin 1. I can dim the free lights from my fader.
but my free lights are not sharing the same fixture. Trash the patch and open plot one. In this case, I create a group. But in its properties, I uncheck compact. This way, I can still gather my lights inside a single module, but without aggregating the parameters. Drop the group into the empty patch and change the color. Open the patch. Here's my module. Connect the fader to the dimmer pins. And rename it. Now drop your patch into the grid. Double click the section to enlarge and right click the patch item. In this menu, I can activate my fader and double click to draw a curve from the dimmers. Back to the patch again. Open your browser and drag a button to your patch. Let's use this button to trigger light flashes. The button is too quick, the light won't have time to flash if I don't smooth the signal. Search smooth in the browser. And drag the smooth attack release module to your patch. Tune attack to zero and leave release to 100 milliseconds. Connect it to your button and to the green colors. Rename the button. Close your patch and right click the patch item. Activate your button. Double click the grid to set the flashes on the timeline. And enjoy the result. As a finish, let's do a tricky but funny patch. In your browser, under MIDI tab, drum grooves, drop groove to file in your workspace. Under banks tab, drum kits, legacy, drop 808 kit above your groove. Open rack 2 patch, and copy your smooth module. Open your MIDI patch and paste the smooth module three times. Drop your fixtures from the plot. Connect the smooth modules to the dim inlet. Now drag a multi MIDI filter from the piano roll MIDI out and select four filters. Double click the piano roll. Here, you can see the MIDI notes corresponding to each sound. I choose notes 36, 37 and 42. Enter the values in your multi-filter. Connect the pass out to your smooth modules.
your mid-file, remote your lights. Mm-hmm.